Friends, in this lesson we are going to learn IPCC. First of all, we have to understand what is this IPCC. Actually, this IPCC, you can say IPCC is nothing, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. This is one international organization regarding environment, climate change especially. What is IPCC? You can see here, the first point says, the International Panel on Climate Change is the international body for assessing the science related climate change. The key word is climate change. So you have to remember it is all about climate change. And currently it has 195 members. And in latter part of this video, we are going to learn how this IPCC was established. But here you just see IPCC assessments provide a scientific basis for governments at all levels to develop climate change related policies. That means here the word policies, if you see this, you will find policies. If you see this, then you will find it is policies. What is this policies actually? Look at here, it is providing scientific basis for at all governments regarding these policies. Actually, these policies are the most concern all over the world. Different countries, they legislate or you can say make laws in their respective parliaments regarding this uh, environment protection, especially climate change through their policies. And this IPCC, is always following the UNFCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So IPCC and this UNFCC, they are very closely related. We have to remember this part. And this IPCC is the only international treaty or you can say convention or you can say also panel in which most of the authors and uh, those environmental experts, they participate and they contribute for the better world. Look at this structure of IPCC. How this uh, international organization was created? Actually, if you look at this uh, diagram, you will see World Metrology Organization and UNAP, United Nations Environment Program. Actually, these two organizations made efforts to create IPCC. Or simply you can say, this WM was established in 1950 and this, you can say this uh, United Nations Environment Program was created in Nairobi in 1972 and after that, this IPCC was created in 1988. Or simply you can say here, for better understanding, World Metrology Organization was established in 1950. Then in 1972, United Nations Environment Program. And by both the organization's effort, this IPCC was created in 1988 and it is presently located in Geneva. And you have to remember most of the international treaties, organizations, conventions, they are headquartered in Geneva and Geneva is a beautiful city in Switzerland, Europe. And Geneva is also one type of lake you will find one of the city, largest city you can say that's in Switzerland. As Switzerland is a peace loving country, so many international organizations, they headquarter in this uh, Geneva. And in the latter part, this IPCC was endorsed by, you can see here, the IPCC was endorsed in this United Nations organization in General Assembly. You can say General Assembly. In this General Assembly, this IPCC was endorsed and later it became the single largest intergovernmental body under the auspices of United Nations in the whole world. 
now let's understand what is the definition of climate change if you see here ipcc ipcc defines climate change as a statistically significant variation in either the mean the state of climate or its variability persisting for an extended period and this climate change may be due to natural as well as external forcing or persistent anthropogenic changes in the composition of atmosphere or in land use and unfcc defines climate change as the change of climate change of climate which is attributed which is attributed directly or indirectly to human activity that alters the composition of global atmosphere or you can say global atmosphere or the temperature also increases due to various in climate change and which is in addition a natural variability observed over comparable time periods that means climate change ipcc defines the statistically significant variation from the human side or from the climate side and unfcc says that it is directly or indirectly change in the climate now we are going to learn impacts of climate change actually there are a number of uh, impacts and one of them is your here mitigation or you can say migration of these uh, things why migration happens because due to climate change people they change from one place to another place they migrate and this ipcc says greatest single greatest single impact of climate change would be on human migration with millions of people displaced by shoreline erosion that means throughout the world you will find migration caused by this climate change so it's one report in 1990 and this climate change also produces environment effects exacerbates current vulnerability making difficult for people to survive where they are and many things are happening here due to climate change so we have to the world community must careful about this mass influx of migrants Ma mass influx of migrants can affect or can cause several damages environment in place of destination and along the transit routes can lead to over exploitation of resources can lead to over exploitation of resources and destruction of livelihood in the host of environment that means it's a threat it's a threat to future generation so this is all about ipcc thank you